Wild boars, once seen as harmless wild creatures, have now become a serious threat to agriculture and ecological balance across the United States. They not only destroy crops, but also cause over $1.5 billion in damages to the economy each year. Humans have employed every possible method, from traditional hunting to drones, helicopters, and modern cage traps. Yet somehow these animals continue to evade control. Join us as we uncover the untold truths behind the battle against one of the most dangerous invasive species currently plaguing the United States. Green agriculture technology. The truth behind the steel traps, wild boars are winning the game. Wild boars cause severe agricultural damage in the U.S destroying crops and property with estimated losses reaching $1.5 billion annually. They reproduce so rapidly that unless at least 60% of the population in any given area is removed each year, their numbers will continue to rise uncontrollably. An effective corral trap typically has a diameter of 30 to 40 feet, large enough to capture the whole sounder at once. The trap wall must be at least five feet high to prevent escape. And using a remotely controlled gate allows the operator to spring the trap at the right moment, rather than catching only a few stray pigs with a manual setup. In addition to fermented corn, fruits like watermelon, peaches, apples, or high-protein baits are effective, especially in summer. The trap walls should be made of heavy-duty mesh or reinforced materials, as wild boars are powerful and can break through weak structures. Even with a strong trap, poor placement, such as too far from water sources or off the herd's usual trail, will significantly reduce success rates. According to experts at Texas A&M University, Placing traps near creeks, ponds, or trails with visible rooting signs is ideal. However, a major mistake many make is triggering the trap too early, before most of the herd is accustomed to the area and bait. This causes the rest of the group to become wary and avoid the trap altogether. You should only activate the trap once you're certain that about 80% of the herd is regularly entering it. Patience during this initial phase ensures the entire group is captured in one go. A critical factor in slowing reproduction and preventing reinfestation.
Changing the trap's location every few months can also disrupt the animal's learned avoidance behaviors. Additionally, keep in mind that wild boars are mostly nocturnal, active between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m., making this the optimal window for remote monitoring and trap <laughs> activation. In response, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, along with many states, has invested millions of dollars into control programs. Some states like Texas and Oklahoma introduced chemical control measures in 2024. However, the most widely used method remains the corral trap, a circular design capable of capturing an entire sounder in one trigger. Additionally, twin-engine helicopters are often used to cover large areas, providing efficient aerial observation and tracking. Meanwhile, single-engine helicopters are better suited for rugged terrains like thick forests or mountainous regions, where agility and quick maneuverability are essential. While this is an effective method, the high operating cost and significant noise pollution make it an infrequent option for most operations. As night falls, drones equipped with infrared cameras are deployed to locate wild boars hiding in dense forests or open grasslands. Once spotted, hunters use high-powered flashlights to identify the boars in the dark before taking action. Some of these animals can weigh up to 800 pounds and have been successfully controlled using this method. However, wild boar management requires adherence to regulations to maintain ecological balance and avoid harmful impacts on the environment and native wildlife. <laughs> 